right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best in the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Santos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Santos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goal. Ladies and gentlemen, with much fanfare, one of the best welterweight free agents in the world has arrived on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. Enter Michael Venom Page. Realized a lot of success in other big shows, but most fighters eventually want to test themselves in the UFC. That was the goal for Michael Venom Page. Outstanding striker, a finisher, really in all realms of mixed martial arts. But there are a lot of interesting stylistic challenges for him in this UFC welterweight division. And the opposition tonight's going to be trying to take this man down. But Michael Venom Page, with that infectious smile on full display, has finally arrived in the UFC. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kobe Chaos Covington. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Michael Payne. And there's Herb Dean. Good he fight. will handle the action Good. inside the octagon. Good. All right, here we go with round one featuring one of the best recent welterweight signees, Michael Venom Page. And for an athlete like this, he would not have enjoyed his retirement nearly as much if he didn't try to chase a few wins in the UFC. This will always be the greatest proven ground in all of mixed martial arts. And MVP Michael Venom Page out to prove that his game will absolutely translate at the highest level of the sport. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot and got visits as you would expect him to. All right, so there it is. First takedown attempt by the wrestler, and the kickboxer is able to stay upright. So I know it's early, but potentially a significant moment right there. A huge moment for him. Just to gain the knowledge that if I need to, I can defend effectively. Even though he believed that he was going to take me down over and over again. This is massive. Now he gets to fight where he's comfortable. Hands up. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, big left hook there. There it is. See that left hook again. He keeps getting hit with those left hooks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, he lands. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing upside his opponent's head over and over again. Covington getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. 
Takedown defense holds up. Nice uppercut. Three minutes. Covington gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Wow, actually got the takedown. Covington's going for the sub here. Oh, real good submission attempt. Now that one looks tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Covington. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Covington. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Great shot from the top position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. They're so evenly matched. They're going to catch. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the pick. Close guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Covington. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. And very effective with the ground and pound. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Covington. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. Beautiful job staying at range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. All right, champ, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Huh. Round two next. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Well, in that previous round, didn't look like we would get to this next round, DC, but here we are. He had him hurt very, very badly. He could not find that last shot to shut the lights out. He closed the door. He could close the door, but that's a testament to his opponent being able to recover when he got hurt real bad. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Leg kick lands nicely done. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and prove it to the end. Yeah, it's out of the order. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point 
with his striking. He's been very hard to improve his stand-up skills in his showing right now. is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, misses with the jab. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that low skate pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is having the wheels. And right now he's showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether it's run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. His miss is to look to finish him now. Oh, nice body shot. Let's go. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Two minutes now to go round two. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar tie. Covington's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, good work with the jab there. Oh, nice takedown defense. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, he's always got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here. Oh, what a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Big right hand there. 30 seconds in the round. Solid punch lands for him. 20 seconds left. Oh! Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. Covington goes in for the takedown now, and he's able to get it. So a nice entry and a wise move, given how the things were playing out on the field. Oh, now he's attacking the arm triangle. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, oh and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Third round under that. Kickboxing 101. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. 
now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Great job landing the strike from his back. Hammer fist here by Page. Making all these shots count. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet. And we are back underway. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Covington. Nice job landing that takedown. Defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Just misses with the jab there. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Stay heavy on that cut. Let's go. Get it. Landed that one. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Ooh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Oh, that is it. As he gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for the pick it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Covington's eye now closing up. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Covington. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Getting very close to finishing this Von Flew. He did a great job of beating the guard. He's got to be kidding me. He's out. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is... Oh! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Michael Payne.
Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.